Hey guys, Lodicrous here with an achievement guide for Ratty Vitty Lab. This is a platformer with magnet themed puzzles, which was released on the 19th of August 2022, but recently had a title update yesterday. It was developed by Light Ape Games and then published by Weakfish Studio Publishing. You should be able to rack up the full 2000 gamer score in around 15 to 20 minutes. Ratty Vitty Labs can only be found on the Xbox Store at a price of $4.99. If you are looking to follow along with this guide, I suggest watching the level played through in full first of all, just to see what you need to do and then have a go yourself. It's possible to mess up the puzzles. If you do, you can just press start and then restart level to go back and try again. You can move around with the left analog stick and then press A to jump. If you pick up a piece of cheese like so, you'll get an energy charge which is displayed in the top left. This will give you the ability to fire a shot with B and charge a block. Ratty can also charge a block in melee range by standing on top of it and pressing Y. This won't use any energy charge. Progressing through the mouse hole will take you to the next level. Now that we're on level 2, what we want to do here is push this jump block to the right hand side. Just stand on top of it and jump to give you an increased jump height. And then nice and simple, we're just going to move to the right hand side of the screen and exit the level. Now on to level three, we're going to move our way to the right hand side and you'll be introduced to a block with an up arrow on it. Connecting this to another block will make the world or level flip upside down. So collect those two pieces of Jesus, jump and press B to activate that block. Pop them both together and then it'll flip the world upside down. Push these two together, press Y on one and then Y on the other. Then this will flip us the right way up and we can exit through the rat hole. Now moving on to level four, we're just gonna head over to the right hand side here, collect this piece of cheese. We're gonna jump on top of this block and press Y to activate it. And then again on this middle block, press Y. These are gonna to pull together and then we're gonna do a jump shot on the magnet block to the left and then press Y on this block. These will come together and stay in the air giving us a path to the exit door. As we move on to level five, we're just gonna to swing to the left here, jump on top of this jump block and press Y to activate it. And then again, jump on top of this magnet block and press Y. These will come together, however, won't connect. We're gonna activate the magnet block again by pressing Y and then they push this jump block all the way to the right hand side. We're gonna use it to jump up, jump over this one and then press Y on this back block here that's going to make a lot of room for us to then leave through the door. Now moving on to level six, we're going to head across to the left here and press Y on this block. Jump shot the jump block and that should come down nicely like so. We can then use this jump block to get up and get that piece of cheese. Land on top of the jump block, press Y to activate it and then we're going to connect it to this one to the top right here if I can land a shot. Then the jump block will drop down and as you've guessed it, we're going to use this block to jump up and exit the level. As we move on to level 7, we're just going to hop on the top of this jump block and press Y to activate it. Head over to this one on the right hand side and again activate that. What you do is you want to stand in between them so they don't connect. And then jump on this block that's blocking the hole. Jump up and then we're going to do a jump shot on this block up here. That's going to pull that one out the way. Drop down the hole again. Y to activate this one. And yep, same again. Jump up, activate it and then drop down the hole and through the door before the block falls back in and fills it in. Now moving on to level 8. We're just going to push one of these blocks out the way so we're free. Take this one from the upper level. Charge shot that one and then press Y on this. This is going to turn the level upside down. Then what we want to do is do a charge shot on this block here and then this magnet block we're just going to do a jump shot at that before they connect you need to get in front of the mouse hole so when it does turn the right way up we can just escape level nine here activate this block and then we're going to push this one to the right hand side and we're going to use this to jump up press y on the top of this block and the two should come together allowing us to go up and grab this piece of cheese Push this little block back to the left hand side because we're going to need to use it again. Jump up, push this one down into the gap so it doesn't get pulled out. Activate that with Y and then move over to this one and do a jump shot. These two are going to come together and make a platform that floats in the air using it to escape the level. 
Moving on to level 10, first of all, we need to put this block into position just on that pipe there. So roughly that position. And then we want to use this jump pad to get this piece of cheese. And then we're going to jump to the left up. And then we're going to do a jump shot on this block here. And then you can do a jump shot on the block on the other side. These are going to come together and that should hopefully land on top of the block we placed earlier. And we're straight out of the level. Now that the achievement has popped for level 10, we move on to number 11. We're going to head over to the left hand side here. Move this block along so we can actually jump up and get this piece of cheese and that one. Then do a jump shot and press Y on this. This should flip the world upside down. This next section needs to be done relatively quickly, but it's the same principle. It's going to flip the world upside down, but we need to be down in this gap before it flips. Hopefully if you've done it in time, you should be able to get out. Level 12 is relatively straightforward. Do a charge shot on this block on the left hand side. Grab that cheese, jump onto this, press Y. Those two will come together. And then what we want to do is a range shot on the jump and then a Y on this one. These two will come together and then you can use that to jump up. Before dropping down on the other side, we want to charge the block in the top left, which is off screen. You'll know that you've hit it because you'll run out of electrical charge. Then just press Y on the magnet and you should be home and dry. Moving on to level 13 now, we just want to grab this piece of cheese, press Y to activate that block, and then we're going to do a ranged shot on the jump block. That's going to make them come together and we can use it to jump up. We're now going to push this one slightly to the left. So it drops down and then we're going to charge it with a shot. Press Y on the jump one and that should flip us upside down. Now just make our way to the left hand side of the screen here. This part's going to be a little bit tricky, but we want to press Y to charge this block and then jump shot the one on the right hand side here. But before they connect or come together, you want to jump on the top of it here. So this will take us up to the top level. Press Y to activate this one that's kind of stuck in this dip here. Drop down and activate this upside down block. Those will come together and we should be able to push this one to the left hand side and make it out the door. This will then move us on to level 14. We're nearly there, six more to go. Jump into this gap and use a range shot to activate that jump block and then same on this one. But before they come together, you want to get underneath it. And what we want to do is put it on its end like so. This will give us the extra height that's needed to grab this piece of cheese as well as get up on top of this block. There is a block to the left hand side of the screen, which we're going to fire a shot at, then charge that one to make them come together. This is now clearly the gap that we can escape through. Push the jump blocks to the left hand side. Hopefully they don't fall over and you are out. Now moving on to level 15. We're going to head over to the left hand side, activate this first block and then the one up here. Those two are going to come together and allow us to get up and grab this cheese. Push that down quite forcefully and then we're going to take it right to the right hand side of the screen. And then jump over this one without pushing it too far forward. And then we're just going to line that up over here. Jump on top, activate that one with Y and then do a rain shot. That's going to come together and flip the world upside down. This next section we need to do quite quickly. So do a charge shot on this one and then Y on this. And as they're coming together, you want to move over to this side so you can escape through the door before the world flips. Moving on to level 16 now, we just want to jump up to this section and fire a shot to the right hand side. Push this block down and then we're going to take this all the way to the right hand side. And then as we charge this block, it should take us up like a lift and then we can just exit the level. Easy as that. Moving on to level 17, connect these two blocks together. However, you want to hug the wall on the left hand side here because we don't want the magnet block to push against it. Move that to the very edge of the ledge and we should be able to jump over and grab this cheese. Now use this same block to jump up and get you on top of the jump pad. Once we're up, we're going to jump shot this one and then we're going to push it off into the little hole it's got next to it. With that in the hole, we're then going to jump up and press Y to activate this block. I'm going to use that to then climb over the wall. What we're going to do now is try and push these two blocks down the hole. So I did try to push this one down, but it wasn't having it. So what you can do is jump on the top of this block here. That failed to go down the hole. Press Y and then press Y on the jump block. These will come together and they should go down the hole a lot easier. Once it's straightened up, they should fall down. 
drop to the left of them, push them against the wall, and just jump out, and you finished level 17. Now moving on to level 18. First of all, we want to pick up these first two cheeses, so jump up and grab that, then grab this one. Press Y on this block, and then jump shot this one. A little bit tricky, but just keep spamming B, and this should come together. That's made a platform. Now I'm just going to backtrack to this section, press Y on the jump block here, and then do a charged range shot on this one. And then once that's released, it's going to take us right to the ceiling like a lift. Drop down, grab that cheese, activate the jump block, and then put those two together. That's going to flip the world again. And then what we need to do is just parkour our way up, jumping over that platform that we put together a little earlier on. In this section, once we drop down, we're going to push this block to the left hand side. Jump up and press Y to activate that, and the same on the other block. This should flip us the right way up and exit the level. Moving on to level 19, jump to the right on top of this block and press Y. And then we're going to do a jump shot to the left. That's going to move the jump block towards us. We want to wedge ourselves in between the two blocks so they don't come together. Then use the jump block to get up to the high position. Jump down on this cheese, and then we want to do multiple shots here to bring these two together. That's going to make a platform in the middle, and then same again, bring these two blocks together, and that'll create another platform. Just squeeze through this, and then we just want to backtrack through our previous steps, and we should be able to get across this little bridge that we've now made. Now moving on to the last level, number 20. Just jump on top of this jump block and press Y, then do a range shot on this one. Ensure that you stood in between the two so they don't connect together. Then jump on top of the jump block again, press Y. And then another range shot to move the next one out the way. Unfortunately, we've run out of charges. But what we can do is just squeeze through and press Y on the top of these two blocks. And that should give us enough space to exit the level and give us the full 2000 game score. Hopefully, if you followed along with the guide, you should have got that within the region of 20 minutes or so. If you found this guide useful, as always, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.